The power comes in response to a need, not a desire. You have to create that need. Know your place, worm. Prepare yourself. Damn Saiyan. Ever since Dragon Ball Heroes has announced that there is going to be a fight between Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Goku, there have been a lot of videos that I've seen online talking about the possibility of a combination of both of these forms, a Super Saiyan 4 Blue Goku, and the reasoning behind the possibility in these videos is that each character would teach the other character how to go into this transformation, how to go into their opposite transformations, thus making this new warrior possible, but there is a huge flaw that these videos have not really addressed, and that is that the rules of GT are different than the rules in Dragon Ball Super. In GT, there is no godly key other than the ones from the Supreme Kai's. There is no Super Saiyan God transformation. Likewise, in Dragon Ball Super, Goku has been pushed and pushed and pushed to the limit, even at Super Saiyan 3. At the very start of Dragon Ball Super, when he faces off against Beerus, he's pushed to Super Saiyan 3, facing off against Beerus, and gets pummeled into the mud and still does not push into Super Saiyan 4 because there is no Super Saiyan 4 in Dragon Ball Super. So theorizing, Dragon Ball GT's Xeno Super Saiyan 4 Goku really couldn't teach the Super Saiyan form to Super Saiyan Blue Goku because not only would he have the harder time explaining this than Super Saiyan Blue Goku would, it is entirely possible that that version of Goku cannot go into that form because they are not in the same universe. Now Xeno Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he may be able to learn the ritual to go into Super Saiyan God while he's in Super Saiyan 4, but that form, that legend, the way the mechanics work, that would have to work in his universe in order for this ritual to be successful. But I do think if one character was going to be getting the benefit from both of them teaching each other things, it would be the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Because I could see that working better, explaining the ritual, getting the good-hearted Saiyans, I could see that working better than him trying to explain how to push yourself into Super Saiyan 4, which would be weaker than Super Saiyan Blue, so there's no reason for him to go into it. But again, the laws in each universe universe work differently. Now in my opinion there really is only one way that this transformation could come about. I don't think we're gonna see it in this anime at all. I don't think we're ever gonna see it but if we do it would probably be something that we'd see in Dragon Ball Heroes at some point but I don't think that we will ever see it. But if Xeno or Zeno Super Saiyan 4 Goku would fuse with Super Saiyan Blue Goku that would bring about the transformation that we're talking about. That fusion would be a double Goku with both the powers of a Super Saiyan 4 and Super Saiyan Blue. They could fuse with the fusion dance or they could fuse with the Patara earrings. Either one is a viable option. Anyway guys, I just wanted to clear up some of the issues and flaws that we have with this discussion and tell you guys exactly how I think this would work. But I could be completely wrong, so let me know in the comments section below if you guys found any flaw in my logic. And let me know in the comment section which form are you a fan of are you a super saiyan 4 warrior wink wink or are you a super saiyan blue warrior and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more dragon ball content this is going to be dragon ball black signing off